Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher, and on today's Synth Clips, we're going to talk about a subject that doesn't get talked about a lot, and that's release velocity. Now, attack velocity, or note on velocity, uh, we talk about that all the time. I have a video, I'll put a link below, it's called What is Velocity? I've also got two synth clips on velocity, one to filter and another velocity to amplitude, but all of those are attack velocity, or note on velocity. And what we're going to talk about today are note off velocities, also known as release velocity. And as I always say, it's not how hard you hit the keys, it's how fast you hit the keys. Underneath each key are two little plastic keys legs, and underneath those are two switches, and all it does is measure the time it takes between when the first switch is closed and when the second switch is closed, and that determines your velocity. So it's really about speed. There's no pressure force sensor for velocity. There's aftertouch pressure, but that's farther down. So release velocity, it's actually the same mechanism. It's just as you let the key go, one of the switch opens and then the other switch opens and it measures the time between those two uh, switch openings. And then it applies that as release velocity, also known as note off velocity. But what can you do with it? Well, if you want, you can experiment and try it with a bunch of different things. But the main thing you want to try release velocity with is with the release time. So in other words, we're going to determine how long notes ring on based on how slowly you let up on the keys. And I, I agree, it's a tricky way to learn how to play keys at first, and don't use it on every patch. But on certain patches, you're gonna find it lets you do things expressively you couldn't have done any other way. So, enough talking about it, let me just demonstrate it, and then I'll show you how to set it up in the synthesizer. So you're probably already used to the idea on string patches that if you press the keys quickly, the strings will attack quickly. If you press the keys slowly, the strings may attack slowly if it's set up to do that. And and it feels very natural and you're used to that, and I'll demonstrate that here. And like I said, it's natural. You, you can just do it. You don't have to practice a lot. You kind of think that way and it just works. But release velocity, that's how slowly you let up the keys. And so I've made a patch here, and we'll go ahead and dig into the details. But I just want to show it to you first. So I can still play like normal. But if I let go slowly... Okay, my editors probably trimmed that because it went really long. But uh, you don't have to be that extreme with it, but you can, and what that can create for you, and I'm making up this word as I go along, but it's kind of a polyphonic... <laughs> I couldn't even say the word. It can create a polyphonic sustain. What I mean by that, I mean that you can make certain notes ring for a very long time and then play other notes that ring very quickly. So here I'll play a left hand part. So now, how do you do it? And this is where it gets tricky, and this is why a lot of keyboards, they don't even send release velocity, and maybe if they don't send it, they might still receive it, because it's pretty easy to put it in the menu to just receive that message. But this particular keyboard, the Hydrosynth Deluxe, has both the ability to transmit release velocity or note off velocity, and it also has it as a choice, as a source that can modulate whatever you want. So how do we do that? So I go into the mod matrix and I just have this setting here where I have velocity off going to envelope two. Envelope two is the envelope that's doing my amp, my volume time. And I'm setting it to the release portion of the envelope. And then I'm using a negative number. And here's one of the things that makes it a little tricky. If I let go quickly, I'm gonna have a high number. Well, in order for that high number to make 
release time faster, I can't add that number to the release time. It's gonna make the release longer. I don't want that. I need it to negatively multiply against that number. So I have a negative number. But I could do it. I could go the other way. Now, when I let go slowly, it'll be shorter. But if I play quickly, it'll be really long. But I don't want that. So instead, I'm going with a negative number. And when you're doing everything upside down and negative like this, you have to think about the envelope backwards as well. What do I mean by that? I mean that what you should do is set your velocity off to the release time to zero so it's not having any effect at all and say, okay, what's the longest I want this to ring? So I go to the release time and like right now it's like 400 milliseconds. And I go, okay, that's the longest I want it to ring. Now, as I go back to velocity off to release time, if I go negative, as I let go faster, which is a higher number, it's going to negatively multiply against release time, making it shorter. So watch this. So if I go negative, you'll see that the faster I hit, the faster the release time is. Now, if I let go slowly, it goes longer. Now, again, all these kind of things have to do with setting up the right min and max. And the way to do this is to first turn your modulation amount to zero, set the longest you want. So that was still kind of short. I'm going to go longer now. I'm going to go long enough to do that polyphonic sustain trick. Now I'm going to add a much higher negative amount of off velocity or release velocity to the release time of envelope two. And so now when I release quickly, it really is going to make it release quickly. And if I let go just a little slower, a little bit more again, now it's pretty long. And that will let me set up chords that I can then use my hands to do other things. So And you're going to have to dial it in for the way that you play and for the most release time that you want, et cetera, et cetera. But the idea is that you can make a string section that you have full control over the attack time and you have full control over the release time per note strike. So it's very, very powerful. So anyway, uh, that was the lesson on release velocity or note off velocity. Uh, be sure to look down in the notes for links to the other things about velocity and my playlist that shows all 40 of my synth clips. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.